All right, we're going to do a three-person serve receive drill with a target, OK? All right, bring it in. Bring it in. Don't be last. All right, and who was last? All right, you owe me 10 jumps for being last, and you owe 10 jumps for ratting her out. Give me 10 jumps. Here we go. All right, the one drill that I tell you guys that we do every day in practice, three persons serve receive with a target, right? On my tombstone will be this drill. All right, here are the keys. What's the first thing that happens when the ball comes over? What do we do? We call the ball. Mine, yours, in, out, right? What's the next thing we do? We open to the ball. So if the ball is not to me, I'm going to open right away, OK? I want to make sure that we don't travel towards my partner here, OK? The sooner I can open to the ball and give myself up, the sooner she knows that's her ball, all right? I got open up. After you pass, you're going to go to the target. You're going to hand the ball to the coach and touch the wall. You're going to hand the ball to me, not throw it at me. All right, here we go. All right. OK, so we got ready to hustle in. We got to have you open the ball, OK? So when we do this drill as a coach, if someone doesn't do it, we got to make sure they do it right. Every time we let someone do the wrong thing, they're not doing the right thing. OK? So make sure you're open to the ball. Perfect. Love it. Don't move your feet on that. Hey, so when we open on these drills, OK, why do we open? Why do we open these balls? If they shank it, right? So if she makes a bad pass, I'm staying like this. Can I make that play? No. So I want to make sure that I open this ball. And if it goes over there, we go over there, right? And when we do this drill, it's important that at the very least, on a bad pass, that that person makes that step. Make sense? It's a good ball. Hey, just a little pivot, right? No happy feet. That's a good ball. Just turn. Don't fly to it. Just turn. Just turn. Don't fly to it. Don't keep going towards them. As soon as I know that's not my ball, I'm going to open to them and give myself up, right? The sooner I do that, the sooner they know that you're not going to pass that ball. So I'm not looking for the world. All I'm looking for is this. Yep, and then I'm back. OK? Make sense? That's a good ball. Hey, good footwork. Good footwork. All right, hey, so perfect example. Who's going to get that ball? You're the only person that has a chance. So I want to make sure that I see at least one move going that way. When do we stop going for the ball? The way it lands. OK? Just go. You'll be surprised how many balls you run into. That's a good ball. OK. All right. So this is critical. Glad that happened. OK, so whose ball was that? I'm coaching you guys. Whose ball was that? I have no idea. But the important thing is that you tell each other, hey, if that same ball happens again, hey, I got that ball. Now we know, OK? Right, so we take, it, take that opportunity to explain to my partner who's got that ball. Right? Now, you guys are always going to play next to each other in rotations, right? So now we know who's got that ball, right? All right, good talk, good talk. All right, good ball, good ball. All right, excellent. Great work. I like it. Important things to remember, how do we get from here to there? We run. And I want to make sure that as I enter this thing, it's a little thing, but I want to make sure I turn this way to open to the court, right? I never lose sight of the ball traveling over the net, and what ball do I need to get, just in case? The one that hits the tape and dribbles over. There's nothing more embarrassing than seeing somebody go like this, and the ball hits the net and dribbles right there, right? So every time we enter, I see Matt the whole time, and then I'm going to open to that ball. Make sense? All right, let's fly through a few more minutes. Make sure you open all the way, right? Give it the full thing. OK, good time. All right, so I'm just serving, OK? 
Okay, we're repping this over and over again. Now I'm gonna add a, uh, a uh, competition to it. We're gonna see how many balls in a row we can get. Anytime the target touches the ball, we get credit. So if you pass the ball over there, and you touch it over there, do you get credit for it? Yep, so we're gonna make a habit of just going for these balls. We're not thinking about it, we're just going. All right, I'm gonna call it out, here we go. That's one. All right, so that's zero. Starting over again. One. Two. That's a good ball. Three. Four. Five. I'm now going to add another wrinkle. So how do we get credit that time? Any time she touched the ball, right? Perfect. Now I'm going to give you credit for any second touch. Okay? So when we do this, we want to make sure that these people are ready to get any ball. Okay? So I'm going to serve a little tougher now. Any second touch by anybody. We still want you to be the primary person, but we want you guys to be ready to chase any of these balls down. All right? Here we go. Go, 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 go. Perfect. So this is a great example. I like the effort, but my question to you, if you dove for that ball, could you have touched it? Yes. All right, so the answer is yes. Great. So what do I want you to do next time? Oh no. I want you to dive for the ball. So if the thought process is that we're diving for every ball, good things are going to happen for us, all right? One. Two. Great. Hey, way to get there early. Nice job. Four. Way not to cross your feet. Five. All right, here we go. That's good. Pass six. Make sure we're opening. Seven. Twelve. Go, 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 go. There you go. That's the play right there. Okay. Hey, so we, you just win, right? You might have just saved the day for the whole tournament. All right? So as we do these drills, the thought process is you just go. Okay? And if that's my first move, is to just go after the ball, that's what's going to happen. I guarantee you at the beginning of this drill, you probably would have just stood there, right? Maybe, maybe not. Okay? So we want to make these things a habit. Okay, as coaches, any time that we, they do the right thing, we want to give them an add -a girl right? Whether it's when they're passing, they don't cross their feet, they shuffle instead of crossing. Anytime I serve the ball in the net, we're moving forward, we want to give them an add -a girl right? Make sense? All right, grab a quick drink and come back.